So how do you think um, newer uh, theater production companies like Quintessence stay, stay afloat in such a harsh economy? I, I don't know. I don't, do I look like an accountant, Max? What is? You didn't tell me you were going to ask that question. Well, I don't know. It's just... I, I thought we were going to talk about this. Well, what? So this is... Okay, so this is one of the swords that I guess we're using in the production Merchant of Venice. Um, oh. And uh, it's pretty swashbuckling and, and heroic. That's... So, hey, okay. All right, hey. It's okay. All right. Matt, quit being a baby, Max. It's not real. I, oh, okay, I realize that, but you know, you're, sta you're stabbing at me. And I'm not, I wasn't stabbing at you. Well, you're making a stabbing motion. You are a stabbing motion. I, I Shut my name is Daniel. I'm a starving young actor from the Kansas Plains, and I cut my teeth on the classics while working at a Shakespeare festival in Texas, where I met this man, Professor Alexander L. Burns. When he asked me if I'd want to head out to his theater company, Quintessence Theater Group, in Mount Airy, Philadelphia, to wrestle with the bard once more, of course I jumped at the chance. So, here I am in the big city, ready to make sweet iambic love to the Merchant of Venice. Come hang out with me and intern Max as we catalog the theatrical journey of a Midwestern kid in the city of brotherly love. Alright, well this is sort of our main uh, lobby to the theater. This was uh, the Sedgwick Theater has been around in Mount Airy since like the 1920s or something. and uh, So we've sort of repurposed it for use as a live theater, but this is where you used to come and buy uh, popcorn and concessions and uh, see the movie posters for coming attractions. This is the theater. This is where the magic happens. Right now we're standing on the exact stage that Shakespeare wrote his plays on. Really? Uh, well, we think. Shh, shut up, Max. Um, the audience is going to be kind of out here uh, on these uh, platforms that have been constructed. Uh, there's a whole other warehouse on the other side of there, uh, but it used to be, a, a, when it was a movie palace, it just had thousands, of, you know, probably hundreds of thousands of seats. Uh, for people to sit in, and so and so, this wall has been put in between. So now it's uh, we kind of do catch as catch can here in terms of configuring the space. But this is where we, as actors, will practice our ancient and noble craft. All right, here's a picture of what the movie theater looked like. So right there, you can kind of see uh, the remnants of the space that we're using. Um, those are the arches that were. Uh, framing our, our stage and uh, that big white wall sort of cut right across the middle there um, killing all the people inside I'm kidding no they weren't no they weren't they weren't in there when they built the wall I can't you you Max you're gonna have to do this later so I have to learn two parts in yeah. two different shows yeah how do yeah. you know this and I don't? 